This week we're looking at number eight in the series on First and Second Peter. This one is Jesus in the writings of Peter. And sad to say there's not a whole lot because all we have is First and Second Peter, books that Peter wrote that are recorded for us there in the New Testament. And they're very brief epistles, letters that he sent out. He doesn't go into a great deal of detail about his experience. Uh, we just simply have some passing references, really. Uh, it would have been good, wouldn't it, to have had some personal recollections written down, exactly what Peter had experienced. Well, of course, the Gospel of Mark, we believe, had as one of its main sources the experience of Peter. Peter told Mark what had happened, and uh, he shared that. But uh, wouldn't it have been good to have some more direct descriptions of Peter and his experience of Jesus Christ? But there in uh, First Peter, he speaks of the priceless trust in our God and Savior, Jesus Christ, the one who is truly good and right. Uh, Peter came to that conclusion. Remember what he was like in the beginning, this brash, rough fisherman who blurted out whatever was on his mind. We remember he confessed Jesus was the Messiah, but then he immediately is criticized or told by Jesus, get thee behind me, Satan, because he starts telling Jesus, don't start talking about your death, and so on. Um, and Jesus has to put him straight on that. Uh, he tells Jesus that he will defend him at the end, but then, of course, he does not, and he denies his Lord. But then he comes back and Jesus asks him, will you feed my sheep, and so on. You know the whole story. So he quotes Isaiah 53, by his wounds you are healed, there in First Peter 2, 24. He also speaks there of the fact that he trusts in Jesus. He believes and he puts his total trust in Jesus. Uh, as Jesus says in the material for this time, John 11, 25, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who trust in me will live even though they die. And Peter put his trust completely in Jesus in the end, after having gone through all those experiences. There's some interesting quotes in the notes for this time. James Stewart says, Christianity is essentially a religion of resurrection. And C.S. Lewis says this, Jesus has forced open a door that had been locked since the death of the first man. He has met, fought, and beaten the king of death. Everything is different because he has done this. And that's what those disciples went out and shared. It wasn't so much that they preached Jesus crucified. That was a common experience in those days. But this was someone who not only had been crucified, but had come back to life with resurrected. The resurrection of Jesus was what transformed them and the whole world at that time. So as you think about this, as you think of what it really truly means to believe in this Jesus that Peter speaks about here in First and Second Peter, what does it really mean in your life? What does the resurrection mean to you? Jesus has risen from the dead. He is the first fruits of God's resurrection and we get the chance as we trust in him to share in that resurrection when he comes again to take us home. May we all be there.